dude. Oh man. Look at this. This really could not have turned out any better than this so far. So according to the 2022 Bassmaster Classic magazine that I read on the toilet the other day, this water, I'm just kidding, please don't do that, is water from the eighth best largemouth bass lake in the country. And today we're gonna be fishing it, which is pretty cool. For those of you that are wondering, this is actually Jordan Lake, North Carolina. All right, it's a whole lake. People don't be mad at me that I'm blowing up a secret spot. It's an entire lake and it's in a magazine. Thankfully, we were able to get down a super sketchy road. I hate launching at boat launches. I just kayak, you kind of get in people's way. You just, I don't know. It's more fun to, to come into these secret spots and launch your kayak. It's just, I don't know. It just adds to the adventure, if you know what I mean. I actually did some studying today for once. Went on the topo maps of Jordan Lake. We ended up getting to this little creek and back behind me, this creek goes way back and there's two islands we're gonna be fishing with some insane topography. It just, it looked too cool. I mean, I don't wanna to talk too much, I'm freaking stoked. This is, man, fishing's been tough and I, I got a feeling it's gonna be good for once today, but this lake is freaking gorgeous. Water is just even gorgeous. Like, I'm freaking stoked. This is gonna be a banner, stay tuned. We, we're gonna crank them. We're back on the scene, boys. Back on the scene with the kayaks, this is, Gonna be a hell of an adventure. Let's go crank him. All right, we ready to skedaddly do? Skedaddly doozers? Here we go. See, I got it. Dude, I'm stoked. This is sick. It has been a freaking struggle for real here. If we can't get fish here, we are absolute donkey poop at fishing. All right, what's the water temp? 48, <laughs> perfect. No, 48 is freezing. <laughs> this is gonna be a completely real video for you guys. Literally as solid as it gets. I mean, we're gonna spend what, six hours out here? If, if nothing happens, then I'm, nothing happens. If we catch a bunch, then we catch a bunch. It is a real video today, boys. I need to keep reminding myself this water is freezing for these fish. It feels great for us, but it's 48.7 degrees. That is cold. I mean, it's 20 feet where we are. The later on we get into the day, the warmer this water will get. Maybe the fish will heat up. I also sense some cloud covers coming in, which is always a good sign. I love fishing in cloudy weather. It's the freaking best. I mean, this is freaking sick right in here. This water is a little muddier, which makes it four degrees warmer. These huge cliffs right here. It's also 20 feet deep. I mean, there's gotta be some fish in this area. Come on. There we go. Come on now, this is perfect right here. 20 feet deep. Look at these freaking steep cliffs. 52 degrees, which is warmer than anywhere else on the lake. Right now we're pretty much at the dam. We want to go that way. There's a break in the lake. One branch goes that way, one branch goes that way, and there's two islands we're going to be fishing. It's kind of our main key feature we're trying to hit today. It's a little bit of a paddle, but one rod says risk it for the biscuit, baby. All right, let's go. Go rescue it for the biscuit. Let's get that biscuit, boys. Hmm, there's a guy up ahead that way kayak fishing. So I'm just gonna, you know, stick to his trail because he probably knows more than me. <laughs> At least I know I'm in a in a somewhat decent area. Unless he's just as lost as I am. Uh 
Dude, this looks too good, man. Look at all the like dry wood and fallen timber and rocks. It looks way too good. All this riprap and such what? It's like fish heaven. Can't get a bite. Dude, I think these are called cypress trees. I'm pretty sure. This looks so wicked. 14 feet deep too. If we cannot get a fish out of there, man, I don't know what the deal is. But this looks immaculate. And we're gonna fish it slow too. It's eight feet right here. It's kind of surprising since we're right up on the bank. These things just grow in the water. It's, the lake's not flooded or anything. It's just how they grow. That's why they're just absolute bass attractors. And they're on three points, which makes it even better because it's just beautiful ambush locations for those green fish. This is why having the yak is nice. You can just stealth into these little spots. Yeah, if there, if we don't hook a fish, I'm going to get out of this boat and I'm going to swim around these trees and grab a fish. <laughs> Get our booty rested. Get on our feet, son. That's money. That is such money right there. Come on, are you are there even fish in this lake? They lied. There's no fish in here. They just tricked us. The top 10 bass lakes in the country are actually the bottom 10 on the list. And they're tricking us so they can keep them hidden. Come on, Bassmaster, get it together. At least the clouds came in a little bit. Feels really nice, actually. We're gonna get one. The fishing is just getting good. It's about to start to get good in the next, like, you know, couple years nice no, kidding clouds started coming we got some overcast sun is just on its way down now i'm feeling good baby we still got the energy like we get it fish you're stubborn it's cold but can you just not like can you not just eat the jig it's not that complicated give a good slurp eat it about one inch deep and you know give it a couple taps to let me know you're there and we're all good It's gonna be one of those days where we fish the whole day with a struggle and then catch a six pounder at the end. Just watch, you'll see. All right, baby. This is where it's going down. It's all coming together. Perfect lighting. We're at the spot. <laughs> There's a lot more boats around here, as you can hear, right to my right. <laughs> and the cover is good. The depth is good. The sun is good. This is it. Oh man, there's someone right there around this point. Are you kidding me? And I just noticed them. They, they stole our spot. This is where the bass are. They're fishing deep though, so we're good. Hoyah! Almost threw myself off the kayak. Don't even ask why my A-Rig has different colored swim baits on it. Some people do that on purpose. I just ran out of swim baits. <laughs> or the same color as swim baits. Damn. I thought that was Hemothy. I thought that was that double digit. All right, so it is about... Uh... 351 which is really not that late on any other day but it's the winter it gets dark at like 415 no not 415 but like 435 which is freaking ridiculous we are about 40 minutes from the launch spot so 
we got a little bit of a paddle, but the day's not over. We're gonna fish our way back. We still got plenty of daylight. And stay tuned, because there is a little spot we are gonna be exploring right at the end of this video. And I'm, I'm pretty excited. We saw it at the start. It's, it's gonna be pretty dope. So we're gonna fish our way back, and then we will check out that dope spot. But yeah, let's, uh, let's work our way back. Uh, let's uh, get those arms pumping, warmed up. Frick it, frick it, frick it. I just freaking hate it. Oh, when is the spring coming, dude? All right, so this is only a little bit random and sketchy, but what's not? <laughs> wow, that's wicked. I saw this spot at the, this is a little sketch. All right, let me continue. I saw this spot at the very beginning of our journey and I was like, oh, we should check that out for sure. And so now we're at the end of our journey and we're checking it out. I'll show you, it's right here. It's pretty cool. I feel like someone's gonna pop out of nowhere, honestly. Like out of this truck, like a homeless guy and just attack me. But look how wicked this is. Like, what? It's like a truck in half and this one's way crazier. This one's got a tree growing through it. Look how wicked this is. Look at the old springs in the truck seat. Dude, I need me one of these. I wonder how much these cost if they're selling. Dude, it's two like front halves of a truck. It's so wacky. I wonder if they got flooded up because this is technically just a flooded lake through a river. I wonder if they just got, they were like at the bottom of the lake and they just got flooded because there's literally like bridges at the bottom of this lake. It's literally just a flooded town under there, which is really, really wicked. But <laughs> it looks like somebody tried to put gas in it. <laughs> slow day but we had a lot of fun beautiful freaking nature beautiful front halves of truck no beautiful green fish but I don't know we, we got some wade points we got some some cool knowledge for next season and I don't know stay tuned this one then you're freaking just thanks um I'll see y'all in the next one just keep grinding out there boys we're gonna get on them soon so I'll see y'all in the next one peace the frick out